one of the most common questions I get asked is how do I reconcile a bank account in Xero? And I'm going to answer that in this video. If you click on the blue reconcile button, this is showing how many items are as yet unreconciled. Left click on that. In this screen, my goal is to make these rows disappear. On the left here we've got bank statement lines as it says there. On the right we've got either transactions in zero or we can create transactions to match the bank statement lines. So I'm going to work through progressively match, create, transfer and discuss tabs. Where zero turns green it's suggesting a match for a transaction that's already in zero. In this case it's an account receivable invoice from Hamilton Smith for $550. If this deposit into the bank account actually matches this account receivable invoice, we can press OK and that row disappears completely. In this case is a spend money item, so a withdrawal from our bank account to Copper Street Bakery. So what I'm going to do here is use this Create tab to, really this is the long way around, to create a transaction in the reconciliation process to match a withdrawal. Well, let's say it's entertainment. We can write a comment that will be associated with this transaction and we can press OK. And again the rows disappeared so now instead of having 27 items to reconcile we've got just 25 left. I'm just going to match this one off to move on to the next transaction to talk about transferring between accounts. Now this is the option that we would choose if this transaction was simply a transfer from this bank account to another bank account in zero. So in the other bank account we would see we would want to see $148.50 coming into that bank account at or around the same day. The only other bank account in zero in this file is Ridgeway Savings, so we're going to select that and all we do is OK this transaction to enact the transfer. The next step would be, and this would be the subject of another video, go in to the other bank account and do the other side of this transaction, which would be the receive money. We're just going to OK this and again the row disappears so we're achieving our objective of making the lines disappear. In this case I'm going to demonstrate the last of these four tabs which is the discuss tab and this is where you can put in comments and as uh, my client's bookkeeping consultant what I do is in a lot of cases I'll prompt my clients with questions so I might say does this include GST. If I click Save, they'll now be able to see this comment in zero and they might write an answer. If they click Save, I can then see their answer as well. Then I can go and, for example, create a transaction which matches that amount. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. Look out for more videos in my series. I'll talk to you next time.